Now, once you're inside the system, you'll notice that we have a giant fan. And this fan is actually an RGB fan that, you know, I don't know how useful having an RGB fan in here is. It's just kind of the, the fan inside the chassis doesn't make it light up in any kind of spectacular way. The other thing, though, is really the service. So to get to the M.2 slots, it's not a super easy way to get in through this chassis, which is kind of a bummer. I wish that it was a little bit easier to go and service the M.2 drives. You'll also see that we have our Wi-Fi here. Now, the cool thing is that this actually has Wi-Fi 7, which is an RZ717. And so you actually do get decent network performance. Now, I don't think that in a system like this, you're going to upgrade the Wi-Fi 7 to something else just because that kind of is a pretty good solution. But on the other hand, getting to that Wi-Fi slot would be just a total pain in the butt if you ever wanted to change it out. So I think between the two M.2 drives, as well as, you know, frankly, just how hard it is to get into all this stuff, I, I just kind of feel like I've seen much more serviceable designs in so many of the mini PCs that this feels like a step backwards. Now, both of the M.2 slots are PCIe Gen 4 slots. And in this system, we get a two terabyte SSD. 